Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today we're going to get nerdy. I am playing new Gundam Breaker on PS4. This game just came out and uh, I've been in a Gundam mood lately. I uh, started going through uh, some series on Hulu, a bunch of Gundam on Hulu if you uh, are interested for those anime nerds out there and mech nerds out there. Uh, and, uh, I built my first Gunpla, which is a plastic Gundam model. And I've got, uh, a couple more waiting for me to build as well. And now, I'm diving into the Gundam games! So, that is the level of, of nerd I'm at at the moment, so. I don't know if anybody will particularly, uh, join this stream. We'll see. Maybe there's some other Gundam fans out there. I hope so, because, uh... I think this is kind of a cool concept for a game. Um, seems to be that you are making your own Gundam uh, through mix and match type situation and then going out and fighting with it. So just hack and slash style game, I'm sure. But uh, kind of cool to fuse together various different eras of Gundam stuff. Anyway, like I said, huge nerd. Uh, we got at least one person in here. Earl or John Early. Welcome, dude. Welcome, welcome. It says there's four people watching on YouTube, so... Some other folks just aren't saying stuff, and that's totally, totally fine. My controller not on? Like, would not let me go over to accept. Oh, I see. English, yep. Maybe it has, makes you scroll all the way through it? I think so. There we go. Oh. All of these privacy policies these days. My goodness was so deserving of all the memes lately of the... Enter my name. Kyosuke? Is that how you say that? Not sure. I'm gonna go with 5J, though, since... That's a me. Where's my shift? Is that okay? Oh. Oh, it's more than okay. Alright, I expect this one to kind of be focused around children, though. So we'll see. Oh, sweet! It's in Japanese. Gunpur High School, part of a massive academic city project, project dedicated to educating the Gunpla builders and battlers of tomorrow. Students here live and breathe Gunpla, devoted... It's a good thing I told you what Gunpla meant. Gun, uh, Gundam plastic, as in Gundam plastic models. Students here live and breathe Gunpla, devoting themselves to honing their minds and their craft through friendly competition. This is surprisingly small text. It's very narrow. These days, as the love of Gunpla transcends culture and language barriers across the world, this school's success may predict Japan's future. Standing before the Gunbre... Pronouncing that right. Hai is a lone transfer student. Eyes twinkling with hope. This is probably me, right? Heart pounding with uncontrollable excitement. Hands itching to create Gunpla legends. The story of 5J the Gunpla Builder begins... John says, should I get a Nintendo Switch or a PS4 Pro? Ooh, ooh, see, me personally, I'm big on the portable aspect. I always have been. So me, I'd go Nintendo Switch. However, there's tons and tons of awesome stuff on PS4 Pro. 4K, if you got a 4K TV, you know, you can take advantage of that. And even, like, Netflix and stuff, you know, you can do 4K streaming there. So, I mean, like, 4 Pro is also a great choice, you know. Two, two really great choices there. So I was totally right, kid-centered, which is a little bit different from most of the Gundam stuff, which is more of an adult military-style story, but, uh, you know, now they have this sort of builders thing, they, uh, they're spanning the gamut of the mature audience for Gundam to the younger audience for Gundam. This kind of reminds me of a game on 3DS called Little Battlers Experience. Same thing, you know, kids in school playing with miniature... Uh, robots. This is that, but Gundam. Oh, I see. This is our love interest. He is building there the RX 78 2. 
which I'm sure we will see immediately in this game. The most iconic, well-known Gundam. The original. John, this is the only PS4 game I'm excited about is Spider-Man. Maybe coming up, but like there's loads and loads of awesome PS4 exclusive games. Like, like this one. No, I know. Most people aren't <laughs> going to buy the PS4 for this game. Just kidding you. No, things like God of War and the Uncharted series and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, there's lots of like, awesome exclusive games on PS4. Uh, Bloodborne. You know, tons of stuff. I'm more of a dubs kind of person. Options is there? Oh, let's skip. I was hoping there would be an option for English language, but hey, in the West we are lucky to get games like this at all. So if it has to come in uh, in Japanese with English subtitles, that's okay with me. Gundam X. That is not one that I have seen. I worked my way through Gundam Wing, uh, which was the one I had originally watched as a kid. You know, loved it. Um, and I'm, I think, just a couple of episodes short of finishing the original Mobile Suit Gundam. Then I'm going to work on uh, probably Double O and Zeta and the 8th MS story. There's, there's tons of Gundam out there right now, and uh, I ordered some on Blu-ray that I wanted for sure, like the original, just to have, you know, the classics under your belt. The classics, look at me. Okay, I, I actually truthfully really don't care. I am going to skip the story cutscene. Let's just fight! My partner. Okay, I guess Iori is my partner. Again, this, this font is crazy narrow. There it is! The RX-78-2. Skipped all the dashes in the name. Man, I want the PS4 Pro and I want the Xbox One X, you know? I want both of the the super high def systems, but uh, money, money, money. Also, I don't have a 4K TV, so to really make them worth it, you know, money, 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 money. So yeah, I don't know when I'll be getting those systems. I will stick with their current uh, or their earlier uh, editions here. Ooh, sweet. Move with the left stick. Pretty, pretty normal. X to boost. I like it. Nice. Jump. Ah. You will boost jump, you say. Sweet. So, if I just stand in place, ah, there we go. You want me to stop moving there? Nice. You got the beam sword. Attacking with a shield, I love it. Let's have a gauge for these attacks. Noise. So it looks like you do lots of looting in this game to get new parts. Sounds good to me. Ah, here we go. They're letting us go somewhere new. Level up. Inner frame level. Get enhancement particles from enemies and containers to level up, increasing stats and unlocking EX skills. However, this does not carry over into later missions. Oh, okay. It's temporary boosts. John, this is, are you into Final Fantasy, Jay? Yes. Yeah, uh, I don't think I've completed any of them, though. You know, caveat. You know, I've, I've put dozens and dozens of hours into various Final Fantasy games, so, like, I enjoy them. 
That's a general problem I have with video games, though, is that I just play lots of different ones and I don't end up completing many of them. So, uh, the, I think the only one I have beaten is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I love that game. Put hundreds of hours into that one. Kind of a spin-off, though, for a tactical one. EX skills are locked instead of mission. Use them, raise your uh, frame level. Ah. Cool. With the R1 button, square, and triangle button, circle button, or L1 button, square. Okay. So two different basics, and then three variations. Cool, cool. John Early says, I have completed Final Fantasy 9 and 10. Wow, dude, that had to be a lot of hours. Nice. Cool games, too. I haven't played much of 10, but I have played a good chunk of 9. This same person, Miss Princess Deja, just coming in like, oh, sub to me. That's not how you get subs. You want quality viewers. You don't want a random number because it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't help you at all. I used to do that too, though, running around, sub me, sub for sub. Don't do that. Earn it. To use Awaken. Oh, it's like a super extra super power. Nope, increases your power and restores your parts to their initial states. Oh, nice. It's like a do-over. Help! Okay, so, EX skill number one. What did it do? Oh, it just repairs a part. Because it's the only one that I have. Yeah, it's the only one I got. Use the controls you've learned to break the container. Where is it? You show me, I'll break it. Ah, it's up here. Bob Biome. What you got? Parts, yes! This is what the game's all about. Let's get new Gundam parts. Select with the left button or right button. Ex exchange up? What? Left button or right button? What is this? Hitting up. That doesn't seem to work. Nothing is working for me. What is going on? To hold the up button, you have to be right up. Oh, for some reason, he just didn't pick it up. Got it. Okay. Zaku 2 head. There we go. Okay, I see. So left and right was for changing which part of your Gundam to change. Got it. Beat up the Gundam! That one's a gym, right? Got him. My partner's doing all the work. Stealing all the glory around here. Destroy 15 neutral force units. Ah! Into the combat we go. Ow! Take that. Alright, we're fighting some Zakus now. Which is good, because it was weird fighting the gyms, because they're kind of on your same side, at least as far as lore, you know, goes. Ugh! I can't see! It's pandemonium! It is totally like a hack and slash style game though. Oh, they're just murdering me here. Alright, beam saber. L1 triangle. Nice. L1 circle, shield strike. Ugh. Take that. 
take him down. Whew. More Zaku parts. Ooh, look at that gun. New beam rifle. Some new legs. There's those arms. Sweet. I must already have this part, otherwise I'd be able to pick it up. Zhuang. Now totally Zaku. Wait, transferring? Transferring what? Kind of want to go back to the standard Gundam. Send parts. I assume I'm sending the Zaku parts back. Hey, we finally got some other folks in here. Planner's here. What's up, man? He says, yay, an anime game, right? There you go. Exactly, an anime game. Yes, gym parts. Now we're talking. Um, see, John Early says, Final Fantasy VIII is kind of a slog, though. Oh, I really liked VIII a lot. Um, I like the aesthetic and the characters and stuff, but I, ever, since I haven't completed many uh, of the games out there, I really can't compare it, you know, slog-wise. So, it's very, very possible. Destroy Gun Tank? No, don't destroy Gun Tank. He's your friend. Planner says, no, I am Door Ladder. So I love the anime voices. Planner says, Jay, I had a good day today at Firehouse Subs. Yeah, good subs? They tasty? Are your customer satisfied with your expert uh, sub-making abilities? Bam. Get me out. You've been beam rifled. Oh, yes, I get to be gun tank. Pick up those parts, please. Gun cannon, though. That's that's my jam. I like me some gun cannon. Whoa! Now I gotta face a bunch of other Gundams? Well, they referred to the original this Gundam, the RX-78-2 Gundam. Parts out. Oh, boy. Part repair. There we go. Holy shamoly. There's a big Gundam. And they're saying destroy gun cannon, too. Oh, boy. I think we're in trouble here. Ugh, parts repair. Repair your parts, boy. I don't know if I can. Destroy gun cannon. It's not good, man. Can I repair my parts yet? I don't appear to be able to, to repair those yet. Ah! What is this? There we go. We got some new arms. Where are you going? He's just running from me. What a tool. Boom, boom. Well, says, I'm going to go play Subnautica, but this looks cool, Jay. All right, dude, enjoy Subnautica. Enjoy, enjoy. This is kind of like chaos, but if you're a Gundam fan, you know, it's cool. Where's legs? I need new legs. There, there's some legs. Come back. There's like this auto lock that's happening all the time that I'm not sure I'm a fan of. Take this gun cannon. Ah! They're destroying me! 
I want gun cannons parts though. And gun tank. I want them all. Aiden McFarland's here. What's up, Aiden? We're playing a super nerdy game here today. Yay, anime. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the parts. I'm, it doesn't look like you can collect all of them. It looks like you have to, like, swap parts in and out, and then do you just lose the ones that you don't have equipped at the time, or what? I'm kind of confused how it's all working. Mission complete. I think somebody took out the giant uh, Gundam without me. My, my one partner there. John Early says, what is Super Mario Odyssey like? Is it worth it? Oh, man. I love Super Mario Odyssey. Good stuff. Yeah, totally worth it. It's a great, it's a 3D platformer. There's nothing quite like it, you know? You just gotta, gotta go for it. Aiden McFarland says, hey. Mason says, Jay, attractive girls for life. Okay, it is an all ages mission, so I, mission, stream, so I changed one of the words there. Uh, I mean, for me, it's about the mech, the mechs, you know, it's all robots around here for me, but yeah, yeah. Aiden says, Super Mario Odyssey is great, but I wouldn't try to get all the moons. I personally got burned out from it. I don't know, man. I think that's, that's the fun thing for a lot of people, you know. But, you know, everybody's different, so it's, it's fine. Here we go. See? Oh, and so this is interesting. When you're building Gundam models, there's different scales, including the 1 out of 144 scale. So I wonder if I can make a model in a larger scale, 1 out of 100. What am I doing when I... Am I selling these? If I... Take, oh, I'm taking them. So can I just take all the parts? I want them all. Acquire all new parts and sell all parts already owned from current list. Is this okay? I mean, I guess so. Aiden says... Oh, nope, I already read that one. No, I actually really liked it. I actually did not end up collecting all the moons like I thought I was going to. Um, I didn't necessarily get burned out. I just had other games to play. But no, I, I got over 600 of the moons, so, you know, I I got a good ways in there. You know, it's two-thirds of the way getting through the 999. I actually don't care about these cutscenes, so, sorry. Sorry, folks, looking just for the the anime persons, ladies. It's, it's not uh, not the uh, the goal here. Can I, I want to, like, just customize my, my Gundam with the parts that I have. That's what I want. I want to take my Gundam. I want to make him a gun cannon. Check it out. Mason says, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is my first Zelda game that I played. That might be mine too. I think that it was. And I loved it and I still love it. And I'm never going to stop loving it. That's how it is. That's how it is. John says, uh, People tell me that Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 would have been better without the motion controls. I mean, yes and no. Because the motion controls were integral to some of exactly how the game works. So if they liked the game, taking out the motion controls would make parts of that game very, very different. And they might not have liked it as much. Hard to know. Hard to know. Launch that Gundam. I hope there's a part in this game where it's just like a garage, you know, just building your Gundams and taking a look at the models. Oh, you guys want to see my, my first and only Gunpla? Long as we're playing a game about uh, Gunpla. Again, Gundam plastic models. All right. Ah, I just busted off a beam saber. This is my first Gundam model. This uh, this is a blade here. Oh, it's invisible. You can't see it's green, and it's awesome. You can't see the green part. See, it's getting all invisible. But, uh, yeah, my my first Gunpla, baby. Oh, yeah, I told you I was a nerd. I told you. It's 
It's okay, though. You do you, right? That's how it goes in the, the nerdy world of gaming and such. You do you. Uh, Planner says the motion controls were what um, Super Mario Galaxy did made. There's words missing here. The motion controls were what made Super Mario Galaxy so great, I believe is the, the gist there. Mason says, Jay, you watch all the Kung Fu Panda movies? No, I only saw the first one. I haven't seen two or three. And is there a fourth? Then it says, Jay, you cook burgers with sugar? Ugh, oh, I'd like to. Why not? Uh, I cook burgers with eggs. Mustard. Seasonings. G cube match. The team that scores the most points in the time limit is the winner. And score points by clearing quests. The enemy team clears a quest before you do. Not only do they score points, but the quest ends. The quest ends. Be aware of your opponent's actions. Also, it's really important to recover parts with the recovery cube because you can keep those parts as rewards after the battle. I like that part. That part I like. Collect parts with the cube recovery device to keep them from enemies. Then, after the battle, you can get the parts you recovered, but. You're defenseless while recovering. So I have to take the parts and put them in the box? Hmm. So as you can see, it's definitely toys here. We're in like these normal sized rooms and you know these tiny little Gundams. And it says, Jay doesn't need attractive girls because he already found the ultimate girl. That's right. My wife. And she's wonderful and she's gorgeous. Aiden says, I got every single moon, purple coin, and outfit. I'm not burned out anymore. And it's probably my favorite Mario game tied to the 64. I do love 64. It also took me a couple of months because school and other things. Yep, no, I get it. I get it. Totally. John says, it's interesting that the 1993 Super Mario Bros. movie scarred? I mean, scarred or scared? They could both work here, I suppose. Scarred Nintendo so much that they wouldn't try to make a, a Mario movie for the rest of the 90s and early to mid-2000s. It's true. They still haven't. They're uh, working on it. And if this one's bad, they're going to take a similar hiatus, I think. So we'll see. Oh, so the new type thing stuck, huh? New types are like psychics. And it was introduced immediately in the first season of Gundam. Destroy 20 units. Keep missing these things. Hey! You shooting at me, boy? Ugh, sure is. Whoa! Okay, they're just really taking me out right now. Get up! Oh, that dude's already a mishmash of parts. He knows what he's doing. Take him out. My head Vulcan, alright. Show me the head Vulcan. Maybe I have to build up energy to make that work. Okay, so I pick up their parts, then I find some sort of box to chuck them all into. It seems to be how things work with this particular mode. Pick up the parts. And again, can I turn off the lock feature? The lock is kind of throwing me through a loop here. Looks like I already have all those. Oh, it's the enemy team's cube. Oh, they pick up my parts? They beat me up and they take my parts? Oh, I did not notice that. Well, well, well. Gelgoog, yes. Sometimes I forget all the, the names of the enemy types, but yeah, the Gelgoog. Am I dead? Where am I? I died. What did I do? 
Did I lose all my parts? I might have lost all my parts. I gotta say, this is kind of disorienting. That auto lock is really, really throwing me through a loop here. I'm trying to collect the parts in the ground, but your character is so focused on everything else that it's hard to actually pick up any parts. Okay. Okay. Like, I don't know if I properly touched those parts in the ground there. Did I get what I needed? I really don't know. Where is my area to deposit these things? Like, I cannot look behind me. I desperately want to look behind me, but it won't let me. Okay, now my lock is turned off. Now I can look behind me. I gotta find some controls somewhere. Where is my place to... Where do I deposit this stuff? I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get high up here. There's a stack of these Gundam models here. I might even have some of these. Oh, I cannot... I can't see where I'm going. So I'm supposed to deposit these somewhere, but I can't find where. I really honestly cannot find where. The combat is fine, you know, pretty standard hack and slash type stuff. Can I like... I'm gonna pause it for a sec here, looks like we got more chats to read. I says, mm, nope, not going to read that. Planner, you know this is an all-age stream. Shame on you. No more Subnautica for you. Planner says, Jay, my husky dog, Christ Crystal, was crying this morning because she couldn't go on a walk with her shaved and hurt leg. Aww. John says, take your time, Jay. Planner says, she howled and cried nonstop for half an hour. Oh, sad. Planner says, Jay, you're in fifth. Yay, what does that mean, I'm in fifth? Fifth what? Oh, something that says fifth in the corner there. Where am I putting these parts? That's his thing. And so the main point of this mode is find parts and deposit them somewhere. But where and how? That's that's what I'm confused about. The mode itself, not confusing. Makes perfect sense. Actually achieving my objective? There. Okay. I found it. At long last. Okay. That's what I wanted. Transfer these parts. Whew. This is a J Nintendo taking uh, our money this year big time. Pokemon and Super Smash Bros. For sure. For sure, Pokemon and Super Smash Bros. All about it, though. All about it. Get out of my way. Destroy gun cannon. All right, where's gun cannon? There's a bunch of them. Ah! Miss. Destroy Guyan. That's how you say it. Did I get gun cannon? He destroyed yet there he is that took him out mission complete oh no i only deposited things one time where is it where's the steps ah and it says destroy door ladder gundam john says chikorita is my favorite pokemon i love chikorita now i don't remember if this is true or not but i remember there was at least a rumor that um, you could teach Chikorita fly, but 
Nobody else in the evolution chain. I forgot if I ever actually tested that out or not. And I, I believe this was only in the original silver and gold. Checking out these sweet parts that I got. That thing is sweet. Twin beam spear. The wing Gundam. Oh yeah, I want to create that wing Gundam, dude. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, next. We're making money, Gundam points or something there. Planner says Chikorita sounds like a kind of Mexican food. It kind of sounds like chickpeas. Planner says, or a slang for a pretty Hispanic girl. I don't have any idea what the wordplay is there. The names are almost always wordplay, so. Yeah, not sure what it's getting at either. Mason says, turtle hype! Turtle, 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 turtle. <laughs> turtle hype? What is that? Nope, don't want to do share. Hmm, some sort of special mission. It's a secret mission in uncharted space. What is it? What is it, guys? What's the quote? That's a sweet club room there. What is that? Looks like a giant, like a giant scale model Gundam head. Like full scale. So they have uh, Gundam scale models as large as uh, 148th of actual size. And they're like foot and a half or larger. You know, they're like, they're tall. And eh, they're probably around a foot and a half. Gigantic models. So this, this is... One one hundred and forty fourth scale of the size of a real Gundam, you know, according to the lore of the size of a Gundam. So, one hundred and forty four versus forty eight. Like, there's a big difference there. But you'd think that it would mean it would be easier to build the big ones because, you know, oh, the parts must be so much larger. No, these ones are actually the easier ones. This is uh, what they call a high-grade model, which is actually the lowest quality that they make. But, you know, cheapest and easiest to begin learning how to make these. And uh, there's fewer parts in bigger chunks versus in the really high-quality ones. There's, like, every bolt, you know, you, like, put on all of it. Like, it's nuts. So many pieces. But I can see the appeal, because even in this one that I made, I can see parts, it's like, oh, we used a sticker here instead of having a separate part. Uh, there's a lot of details left out to make it easier. Still looks cool. I still think it looks awesome. And it was fun to build, but I can see the appeal of getting the higher quality ones, for sure. Yeah. Well, I was trying to open that crate, but apparently it really wants me to attack that guy instead. So here we are. Woof. Ooh, pick up that Zaku axe. That. Yeah, the Heat Hawk. Sweet. I always thought that thing was sweet. Like an axe lightsaber. If an axe were a lightsaber. This is insane. So much crazy stuff happening. Oh, there's like a bazooka or something right there. Yep, Zaku bazooka. Perfect. Come on, take him down. Oh, parts out. That's not good. Get me out of here. Oh, I see. Can I repair right now? Do I have my gun back? Was I able to repair? Don't know that I was. Look at that dude. He's nothing but a shell now. Oh, I blew up. Uh, Planner says it was Buzz Lightyear. Yes, you got it. It was Buzz Lightyear. You're right. Good old Buzzby. 
Uh, John says, Chikorita sounds like a wordplay on Senorita. I guess. Aiden says, I'm going to wait next year for Pokemon. It doesn't look like something I'd like. That's fine. Some moon already had a billion references to Kanto. I may not be interested, but that doesn't sound doesn't mean that you can't. Mason says, Jay, what Zelda games have the best story? Well, again, that's a subjective subjective uh, evaluation there, but um, boy, I don't know. I like them all. They all have their own their own uh, appeal to it. Uh, Majora's Mask, I think, is super unique. And uh, I think that's a, a really good one. Um, I've always loved Ocarina of Time. Uh, Twilight Princess. Wind Waker. Breath of the Wild. I mean, I think they're all really interesting. Get up, Banby. Decided his name is Banby, apparently. Ugh. Ah! They're destroying me! Get out! What are all these? I think I should go deposit my parts. Here. Biome, bi biome. I wonder if there's other types of modes or anything to this game. So far, I think I'm still in what would amount to like a tutorial. Hopefully, eventually, they'll give me uh, some other things to do here because I think there ought to be a way for you to customize what Gundam you're using from the onset. I would think so. Why? Why not? Um, I would think there would be some sort of way to look through all the parts that you own. I'm earning money. There's got to be something you're doing with the money, right? So, looking forward to seeing what, what happens there. There we go. Took gun cannon out. What, what, do I have other quests? Does it show you where the other quests are? Burst Breaker. Let's see what this is. Oh! Huge sword! Okay, so using special attacks is really cool. Just remember to use them. Beam Saber L1. Plus triangle. Nice. Cool combo happening there. Taking him apart. Defeat Shogo. Is that Shogo there? It looks like a just a Gundam. Also, they want to transfer some of these parts. Oh, it's over there now. Go away! Right there. That's the one. All right, looking to destroy gun tank. Oh, there they are. Bunch of gun tanks. What do you mean it failed to destroy gun tank? He was right. Before I kill this guy, let's pick up this part here. The game is really slows down at certain points there. I hope they patch that. It seems to run pretty smoothly and all of a sudden it'll just like freeze for like two seconds. Very strange. Parts out! Ugh. Oh boy. Mission complete. Well, good. I'm like dead here. Planner just sends a bunch of emotes. Planner says, I said, no, I am door ladder. In emojis, the best I could do. Uh, Planner says, the Zelda game of the best story is Zelda CDI, the faces of evil. That's true. 100% true. No, no, no. Planner says, my boy. Aiden says, Hotel Mario was another classic CDI game. 
Classic, horrible game, I suppose, yes. Classic in a certain sense of the word. This is Jay, what kind of car do you drive? I drive a Kia. A Kia Forte. It's a nice car, actually. Uh, but we we went for it because we got like really good deals on on the Kias, and I was happy with it. Wait, what about all those other parts I collected? When I put them in that thing, does it just like sell them? Where are they? Whatever. John earlier says, I'll probably like Pokemon Let's Go because it's like Pokemon Go, except you can play it indoors. Not only that, but it has like real battles. And you have a Pokemon controller. And you're actually like controlling a character and exploring the Pokemon world. Like, I think it's going to be like the ultimate way to play Pokemon Go. Like... Everything that we wish Pokemon Go was. You know what I mean? That's what I think Let's Go is going to be. Again, I'm really not reading these, so I'm just going to skip this. Oh! Oh, okay. Play offline story missions. So th this is how we figure this out. Build and paint gun Gunpla? That's awesome. Play online three on three battle missions. Okay, library mode. Check the part database records and buy parts. Yes. Now we're talking. First of all, let's check the settings here. Is there English by chance? No, I, I don't think so. What about the lock on? Is there something I can do with lock on? I don't see any sort of lock on. Oh, dodge. There's a dodge? I had no idea. Let's go look at the build and paint gunpla business. Here he is, little dude. Assemble paint gallery. Let's see. All the different parts that we have so far, we don't have a lot. Where's Gun Cannon? Yeah, there he is. Or the Wing Gundam. Can I zoom in? There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Gun Cannon. Let's stick with that beam rifle. I really don't have any other guns. That Gun Cannon body. Oh, I love those huge cannons on the side. Let's check out some other stuff. The Zaku body. The Dom, the Galgoog, and the classic Gundam. So I'm going gun cannon. Them Gundam legs. Oh, arms. The Zaku arms, which are actually pretty cool. The Dom arms. I'm not a big fan of the purple color. Oh, those are kind of sweet looking. Oh, I don't have gun cannon's arms. It's the closest thing I get, I guess, to gun cannon's arms. Okay, sounds good. Put the gun tank treads on there. The Zaku legs. The gym legs. Just doesn't fit with the red body, does it? And the rising Gundam. Those are cool. I mean, still doesn't fit with the red body, but... Let's try the gun tank treads. <laughs> I just gotta see how this works. Backpack. Oh, I forgot there's multiple backpacks. The gym. The Zaku mine layer. The gym too. Eh. I'll just stick with the Gundam. Only got one shield. Not sure what builder's parts is. And apparently we can switch out these EX skills. Apparently, there's also different frames. 
Or is this a frame skill? Interesting. Okay. So, from here, does this mean my next mission I'm fighting with this abomination? Beautiful, beautiful abomination? I hope so. I hope so. Planner says, Halo 2 is my favorite Metroid game. I imagine that's the face you make when you make that statement. <laughs> Aiden says, since Garfield Go exists, what? We need Garfield Let's Go, Let's Go John and Garfield Let's Go Odie. I love this idea. Uh, there was, there was a book of, it was a Garfield superheroes book, like a series of these books. And I had one and I actually really enjoyed this book as a kid. I forget what it was called, if it was like Garfield's Pet Force or something like that. But like, it was like Garfield, like super buff, you know, and some uh, spandex suit and a cape and stuff. And like super OD and all this kind of stuff. Like, I forget what that was called, but like, ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Amazing. <laughs> Bossy is here. What's up, Bossy? He says, sup, Jay? Hey, how's it going? So I'm a little bit confused exactly how this game works. The lock-on is throwing me off, but I'm liking the collecting and uh, random Gundam-ness to it. I only got about 37 minutes left here. Oh, it does show the Gundam that you built launching <laughs> on those big treads. That is appropriately ridiculous. Super cool. I gotta get me a gun cannon, gunpla. Of course, now I've I've uh, changed my budget, so I'm buying less games and things, trying to pay off debt, get rid of loans, so I can do this full time. So probably won't be buying that gunpla soon. Okay. So that was a thing. The movement doesn't seem all that different. Almost smoother. Can still jump. Just nonsense, but you know. Beautiful, wonderful nonsense. So I have a beam cannon. And I have this beam sword. What about the shoulder mounted? What about the shoulder mount and beam guns? How do I do those? That's what I want to do. Team points. Okay, so I'm not sure. This, this must be the one where you deposit the, the parts, right? It's got to be what this is. So we'll just pick up these parts for a while. Ah! Taking me down. Oh my goodness. Really taking me down. I don't think these parts are doing me any favors here because they're not they're not great parts. They're totally mismatched. There's no synergy, I think, amongst any of these parts, but I think he's a beautiful, glorious monster. Parts out! No! No, what is it? My my head? What just broke? Dude, this dude is, like, so gone. Can I just take him down? Alright, what do we got? Can I not switch any of these parts? Oh, no, I just discarded something. Pick it up. Destroy Gundam. That's him. The one and only original Gundam. So while he's down, he seems to be easier to, like, shoot. Hmm. Leo T has just joined on Periscope. What's up, Leo? Dodging, dodging, excuse me while I dodge. 
and pick up parts. Is there, I gotta find where my uh, my teams. Get me out! Get me out! I want out! Get me out! I'm gonna die in here. I want to deposit my parts for my team. Where is... This might be where the enemy stuff is. Once again, it's really hard to look around anywhere, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to deposit my parts. I'm just heading this way. Dude, did you see that guy? Head Vulcan, alright. Some sort of attack there. Oh my goodness, we're so dead. Get me out. Heal me. Blitz Gundam. Okay, I turned off the lock on. Okay, great. Where is my team's... There it is. Send those parts. Boss says, so in this game, robot toys fight in someone's room. <laughs> kinda. Yeah, kind of. Uh, so this is actually a game about, like, Gundam models. So they're technically not really robots. Though they really do behave like it. It's strange. It's strange. But yeah, you're uh, collecting parts building models and then fighting them against each other. It's strange, but it's cool. For a, for a Gundam fan, it's cool sitting here going, wow, all these Gundams from different uh, different shows kind of all mashed together facing each other. It's a, it's a cool experience. All right, so I have the Earth Shaker L1 plus square. I have to see what the Earth Shaker does. I have to. Boom! Nice. Just pound the ground with those treads. Oh! Head Vulcan. Is that a... Do you see that? He's huge! And he's, he's hard to hit when he's flying like that. Oof, he can hit you, though. How am I supposed to face this guy? Cover the key part. How do I... Apparently I'm doing something right. I'm getting, like, achievements and stuff. All right, Earth Shaker. Go. Missed. We did something right. Yes. Slime says, "Is this Naruto Shippuden?" Right. Aiden says, "Mario Tennis Aces Swing Mode is great because it's easier to learn and play for a family member who doesn't know how to play the easiest of games." I can see that. I can see that being a thing. Sure. Why not? Thruster capacity up, movement speed down. Interesting. What did we get? This head was kind of sweet looking. Is there a way to zoom in on that? Nah. Those arms are cool. What is this? Is it a backpack, I think? Oh, look at those arms. That is sweet. The Blitz Gundam. And some other stuff we already got. Delicious. 
I think we're gonna go put together another monstrous concoction of a uh, of a Gundam. We can also check out whatever library mode is. All right, so we got our partial gun cannon guy here. Still no new rifles, huh? How? I feel like I picked up a thousand. Maybe when I put them in that thing, it actually hurts me here. Got the Wing Gundam one. That thing. That thing's awesome. Let's go for it. Though, to be honest, its stats aren't great. Well, let's put it this way. They're not as good as this guy. I guess it's tied for most of these other things. So, it's fine. One of my best stats are some really ugly parts. I don't want to be those parts. Kidding me? Guess I'll just stick with gun cannon here. Those, man, look. Those are some sweet arms. Bad stats, though, huh? How does it have bad defense? Look at those chunks. Those got to be good for something. And the Blitz Gundam. Oh, yeah. Defense goes way up. I'm gonna take that. The Rising Gundam. I think it fits, but I think it also means we're gonna need to change the body. To what did we have? Probably just the Gundam, the normal Gundam. Do we have, what is this Victory 2 Gundam backpack? There you go, yes! That's awesome. Put that on there, baby. I use a hodgepodge. He's a hodgepodge for sure, and I want a different shield, but it's a classic at least. There's, um... There's something that said paint, so I bet you we can change the color of all this stuff. Paint and decorate your Gunpla. Aiden says, so what exactly is Gundam? Uh, first of all, if you go onto Hulu right now, if you're a Hulu, you know, subscriber or whatever, um, there's a bunch of Gundam on Hulu. So it's a series of different shows but they all revolve around these giant mech suits. Uh, what was revolutionary about uh, Gundam at the time was it wasn't your typical just, hey, look, giant robot type uh, show. It was based around a mature storyline uh, of a military theme. And uh, the mechs were far from, you know, indestructible. You saw them get blown apart all the time and everything. It wasn't just... I'm the unstoppable hero. But they've expanded the range of stories to be not just these heady, you know, thinker type shows. Now they have these ones revolving around stuff like this, where it's more like kids playing with these small models. Like, I have this model. Kids playing with the models that you use to fight each other. Uh, there's a similar 3DS game called Little Battler's Experience. Glow color. Oh my goodness. These are just like presets. I can make things glow. Oh yeah. No, green's a good color for me. I don't know what I'm doing though. beam saber so there's a lot of customization here that I don't fully understand yet and I think there's probably the ability to do all of your own like custom painting I'm just gonna quit without saving admire your gunpla nice you can change its pose and stuff so you build whatever you like you pose it, you take photos with it. Yes! Frame on... Oh, I see. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're a Gundam fan, this is this is pretty cool. The gameplay, I think, I still need I still need to pay more attention. I'm still kind of confused how it all works, but oh, and you can take the shield on and off. That's cool. And the weapons. Oh, sweet. Change between them. Beam Saber. So, yeah, no. Uh, Gundam, anime, manga, um, video games, mostly in Japan. Not a lot of Gundam games make their way here, especially not anymore. And uh, so I'm happy that there's stuff on Hulu. Because I remember watching Gundam as a kid. Um, it first came to America in like 2000 and I remember watching it at a friend's house and just loving it. These really sweet designed robots. See what the library mode is. Whew, those textures really take a while to load, don't they? Gunpla library. Oh, you just get to look at the models. Nice. So this is all from the first series. They just called this Gundam, but he's the RX... Dash, er, model number, dash 78, dash 2. Gun tank. Gun cannon, this my boy. I love gun cannon. I think he's awesome. I got a gun plug of this arriving that I got from Japan. It takes like three weeks to get here, so. It takes a while. The gym, it's like a, a simpler, mass-produced version of the Gundam. Bunch of enemies. Let's jump to a new series. See more complex designs. The Wing Gundam, for instance. This is from Gundam Wing. Look at how sweet that is. This is from the first series that I watched. So good. Aiden says, Toy Story 4 looks epic. Is, is there a trailer out? I did not know that. I would like to see it. There's the Rising Gundam. Look at that. So sweet. The Victory 2 Gundam. Oh, he's got like an energy shield. That's cool. So I have not, there's tons of these shows. I have not seen, uh, I, I would guess say most of it. So I've got a lot to catch up on. Oh man, he's a chunker, but he looks like he'd mess you up. Jim 2. Zeta Gundam, here we go. Nice. Looking awesome. A custom gym. So yeah, this is this is cool to be able to look through all these different models. You'll be able to build all these, I assume. I can't imagine why you wouldn't be able to. And I think it only gets bigger as you continue to face more and more of these. Uh... Oh, here's where you, okay. Boy, recover parts. Where was that? I think I need to look at some of these tips, figure out what I'm doing. Melee Man says, Sup, Jay? Hey, Melee Man, how you doing? He says, congrats on completing Super Metroid. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's library mode. Okay, that's, that's what you get. That's the library mode. Don't think I'm ready for the online three-on-three -three battles yet. I think I gotta collect a lot more parts. Oh no, I just did the same scenario. Oh, I didn't do a new one. Crap. It's fine. Aiden says it was a joke. That doesn't sound like a joke. If you just ask a question and you have nothing indicating that it was a joke, it's hard to know if that's supposed to be a joke. Awesome. You make some crazy creations with this game. So, probably not going to stream this game after this, you know, after today. But uh, this will be a game that I will play by myself offline. Believe it or not, I do play games when the camera's off. Not as often as I'd like, but I do. Other nerdy games that I play without your knowledge include Digimon games. <laughs> 
<laughs> the biggest nerd stuff happens with the camera off. So again, I think this is a parts collecting mission, right? Collect more units than the other guy. It's a big dude. And again, like I said, there's a it indicates the scale of these models, so there might be larger scale models that you can end up using and fighting against and collecting for, perhaps, in this game. Hope so. I think that's cool. So yeah, anyway, recently I had found that there was a, uh, a hobby store near me that had um, that sold Gundam parts, or Gundam models. Break 10 containers. I can do that. We're good. I'm not sure what they mean by neutral enemy force. How could they mean neutral and an enemy? Are they neutral or are they an enemy? Destroy Gundam. Where is Gundam? There, is there he is. Take him out. No, 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 no. Wrong one. There's one that's already... There we go. Oh, big dude in the sky, right? There he is. Get up. We're getting hits on them, but we're also getting destroyed by the ground units in the process here. Got to be a little bit more careful. All right, so what do we got here? Split bomb, R1 plus square. So we just laid a mine or something? Doesn't look that interesting. Meteor strike, L1 plus square. I don't think it's ready. Don't think that that worked. Part out. Repair the part. There we go. Oh, yeah. Some of those sweet weapons. Destroy Gundam Age 2 Mobile. What's that? Where is it? Is it that? Boy, I hope it's not that giant thing. No, I don't think so. Oh, took out some parts. Get down, boy. Where are you going? Dropped a key part. Show me where. This dude's trying to score points. I'm going to take him out. Nice. Rocket launcher. How do I use that? It's like all these weapons, I'm not sure how to equip them, though. Oof. Destroyed. In says the thing about Toy Story was a joke. Oh. Because I know they're making it. But, you know, they're working on it. It's like... Oh, you're saying this is Toy Story. Ah, see, it's hard to understand the context of your joke. 
I get it. You were saying this is Toy Story 4. Lol. It kind of feels like that. Of course, in the dark, like, dystopian, war-torn future of Toy Story. Recover me! Alright, Meteor Strike. L1 plus square. Well, couldn't see it. The angle was all obscured. I have no idea what all these shrieking, high-pitched anime voices are saying. <laughs> something. You're saying something. That's for sure. I want to switch out this shield on my Gundam, otherwise I like how crazy customized he is. We did finally get a different weapon, a rocket launcher. I definitely want to try that out. That's a cool body. That's an ugly head. Standard Gundam legs there. Oh, they're 1 out of 100 scale. Yes! I finally have a couple of 1 out of 100 scale parts. I think I probably need a frame, though, that fits that. But sweet. Skip that. Yeah, it seems like the stuff that I put... Oh, weird. The stuff that I put in um, those boxes doesn't seem to come with me at the end of the level. Not sure what I have to do to make that those parts come with me. Assemble! Definitely want that rocket launcher. Oh, and there's new beam sabers. Hardly any different. And the twin beam spear. Totally give that to me. The only new head we got was this ugly thing. Ooh. New, what is this, body? It's big. Oh, I can put that on there, even though it's large. Gives me better thruster capacity. I'm going for it. The big one. Sticking with the Blitz, it has the best defensive ability. See if we can get extra large legs on here. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Too big. We're not ready. We're not ready. What does it give me? Uh, there's no stat bonus, so... We'll just stick with Rising Gundam. All that stuff. It's all good. Aiden says, well, I gotta go because of dinner. Bye, Jay. See ya, Aiden. I don't have a lot of time left here either. Only about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do one more of these uh, missions and then have to go. Thanks for bearing with my nerdy, self-indulgent stream here. I hope you guys enjoyed the ridiculousness of it. I didn't know anything about what this game was going to be like, so I was just taking a chance here, trying out a game that I bought. I like that body style. Not hugely uh, a fan of the, the head of this guy. Should have changed that out. That's okay. Actually, we should see if we can get our hands on a 100 scale head, a big head, and then everything else is the 144 scale small parts. Just a big bobblehead looking guy running around. Is this some sort of story-based one here? I think she's talking to me through the Gundam. Her Gundam, by the way, is super cool looking. 
guess that was just a prologue for more of this. Whoa. I'm liking this big weapon that I found. This thing is cool looking. There we go. What about the bazooka? Yeah. It's kind of shooting right into the ground in front of me there. Gotta see it in action. Actually hitting a dude with it. Split bomb, shield strike. We'll try out these things on these new dudes. Well, it's exploding real nice. That's a good sign. Bam. Get up. Oh man, it's a sweet... It is a really sweet saber you have. I'm gonna turn off the locking. I don't think I want it. Stop it. You've been blasted, son. There we go. Yes. The bazooka is working well. I think I like it better without the lock on. I think sometimes you want it, but I think largely I don't. Serpent custom. Meteor strike. All right, see if we can get it to work this time. Oh, I see. Oh, that is awesome. The Gundam's hyper bazooka, nice. Ugh. Dude, he's got like a whip. How do I get what he's got? I don't know what he's got, man. Show me the super hyper whip. That thing. Yeah, whatever that, that Gundam is there. He's got a sweet whip thing. I want it. I want him to drop it. What is this guy? He's killing me. Oof. Take him down. Oh, what is his whip? Th uh, Beam Saber V. Nice. What do we got? Shield Strike, Meteor Strike. That's all we got, huh? plus square. Oh! He destroyed me. Oh, did I drop all of my parts? Probably. Dang it. Let's see if I can pick up stuff that I dropped. Ugh. Oh my goodness! Relentless! Just trying to collect parts in peace. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, oh my goodness. This dude is destroying me. There's that fan thing I wanted. Let's 
So we need to use this bazooka on him a lot. Getting close seems to not be a great idea. We're going for it anyway. Didn't work. Bazooking the crap out of him. Noble Gundam? Who's Noble Gundam? This dude's the dude of the whip right there. How'd we do? Did we take this guy down? He's done. Sweet. Woof. He was a big dude. I don't know if I got anything out of this one. And we did not get S rank. Wait, wait. Faster movement speed buffs. Again, I don't really know what these are doing. We got that thing at least. Sweet, I gotta try it out. We'll just check out uh, those parts quick. And then I gotta go. Got some uh, uh, family dinner plans. Gotta go. You know, hang with family. Skipping all the story. Interesting, there's like a weird branching path, huh? Let's get that head off there. For one thing. Could put the Wing Gundam head on there. That thing's ugly. Wing Gundam it is. Best, uh, best stats there. The Zaku st stats are actually pretty good, Zaku stats. But, what an ugly body. So plain and simple. I don't like it. There's no better arms that I have than these ones. Those look pretty sweet, but yeah, they don't work. Yeah, none of these are good. We'll stick with Rising Gundam. Well, I gotta make sure I don't get destroyed, because I'm losing out on some really cool parts. I gotta say, this body, it is ruining the size of the head for me. Now he's got this tiny little head. But I got the good thruster capacity. I really do like that the gun cannons, giant cannons on his shoulders. Super cool. I hope we get to see the various revisions of the gun cannon that have been made through the years. Anyways, you guys rock. I know there's not a lot of folks watching this one. I got, I got a, you know, a real nerdy game choice here today, but that's okay. I just wanted to try it, so I probably won't stream this again. I probably will stream Subnautica again, but uh, I'm probably not streaming until tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. There's probably going to be some more Mario Tennis Aces tomorrow, and uh, I'll probably do a little bit of the online mode there. So, yeah. Thanks for coming, guys, and I'll catch you next time.